Hey guys, welcome back to Bali Piano. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at the chorus of Sanwik Bolchen. Okay, so I will demonstrate it first and then we'll break it down. Five, six, seven, and. Okay, so I'm assuming that those of you who are looking at this tutorial already know how the song sounds. And uh, because of that, I'm not, I'm not actually going to focus too much on the melody. Uh, I'm, I'm going to focus more on how to accompany the right hand melody with your left hand. Okay, so first off, uh, we start with two quavers which is B, B, okay? And then we play this in the following bar. And while we are playing that, we are pressing down on an inverted G major chord, which is D, G, and B in our left hand. So if I were to put that together, it goes One more time. Then we move on to playing. Okay. Then we repeat this melody line again, but this time we're going to be playing E minor in our left hand. So it will go like this. Okay. So let me just put that together one more time. Alright, let's try it again from the top. Five, six, seven, and. Awesome. Alright, now this is where things get a bit more interesting in the left hand. We're not going to be playing block chords just like we were right now. We're going to be playing broken chords. So broken chords in a, in a nutshell is simply, instead of me playing the standard G major chord, for example, I'm going to break it down. So I'll be playing G, then D, then upper G. Okay. So for now, what I'll do is tell you what the chords are while the melody line is going on, and then once we're done with uh, learning the chords that are accompanying the melody, then we'll try and play it with broken chords. Okay, so we just got done with... Okay, then we have, again, the G major. When I say G major, uh, G major can, can have a lot of forms. The, the standard way of playing G major is just G, B, D. But sometimes you can eliminate the, the B and you can just play, you know, G, D and upper G. And, um, you know, even, for example, the very first chord we played was uh, inverted G. You know, we were still playing G, B, D, but this time the D was at the bass. And even this would be a G major. So as long as you're playing G, B, D, G in any form, then it's still... A G major chord. So we're playing a G major chord and in the right hand we're playing one more time then moving on we're playing D major and then again back to E minor 
and then we move on to playing C major. So if I play, if I put those together, it will sound like this. Okay, now once you get used to playing this and once you're uh, comfortable with the chord switches, then I'd recommend you trying to play the left hand as broken chords instead of block chords. And I think the best way to do it is to really take it slow. There's there's no need to rush it. So if I were you and uh, I'm struggling to, to put them together, I'll play it very slowly. So again, taking the first bar, we go... Okay, and I'll just keep repeating that until I get used to it. So, trying maybe a bit faster. Okay, and once I get comfortable with it, then I'll go for the actual speed. Let me just demonstrate the remaining bars in this broken style. Five. Six, seven, and one more time. Next up, we have one more time five, six, seven, and all right, moving on. We then have a different set of chords. Again, we do start off with G major, but then we're kind of, just imagine a staircase going up. We're going from G major to A minor to B minor and up to C major, okay? And how it will go, first I'll demonstrate it with just block chords. Once again, once you get comfortable playing block chords with the melody, then you can try and break it down and uh, attempt broken chords with the melody. So if I were to demonstrate it, it would go like this, very slowly, five, six, seven, eight. Then we move on to E minor. Back to D major. And end off with G major. Once again, with the broken chords, it will sound like this. One more time. Now we are just playing two minims, which is D major being played twice, before we go back into playing Sun Week Bell one more time. So that, as a reminder, it goes like this. And then back to playing E minor. Now notice how the melody was slightly different from how I played it the first time. This is because obviously singers will have their renditions. So all I did over here was just listen to how the singer sang this particular phrase. So in my opinion, it honestly doesn't matter if um, you don't play exactly how I'm playing the melody. You can just take the the version one and just repeat that again if you find that a bit more simpler. But again, if you are looking to kind of spice up the melody, then by all means, 
continue following the the different variations that I have, which I'm basically just trying to replicate uh, the original as much as I can. So, one more time. All right, then again, we have G major, followed by D major, back to G major, and then finishing off with a chord, a block chord of D major. And in our right hand, we're playing the following. But again, once you get used to that, then do try out playing broken chords. So. Okay, so this wraps up the chorus before it moves on to an instrumental section, which I'll be covering in my next lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys soon.